Hello, welcome to this part of a tutorial. Today we're going to look at a fractured and a packed wheel. We call it frac and packed wheel. So this tutorial is very similar to the gravel pack tutorial. In fact, it's a combination of, let's say, two tutorials, the natural flowing wheel and the gravel pack tutorial. But for this situation, the gravel pack situation we used an open hole so where the, um, the production interval was not cased was open okay but for this tutorial we're gonna use the, the perforation interval is actually cased and then perforated so and then the perforation is packed with gravel so that is what we're gonna model how to do that when you have fracture in your perforation interval and then you have gravel there and then you want to pick replicate the same using prosper how do you do that so we're going to keep the tutorial very simple and straightforward like i promised i'll be providing the data used so this is the data i'm going to use for this tutorial i'm sorry i couldn't do that for the last two tutorials as prosper part 19 and 20. okay so this is the data i have for the well the PVT data, the deviation survey, down all equipment data, the geothermal gradient, and then the reservoir input data. From the reservoir input data, we notice that the pressure is still at 4000 and the water code is at zero. The permeability is, our permeability is 115 liters in. And uh, every other thing is okay. Our Pison is just 100 feet. Okay, now this is the data for our fracture. Okay, is our gravel permeability is actually at 5000 liters. Eh? Okay, so let's just go to business. Okay, so like I said, the first thing which you have to do when you're modeling Prosper is to set your options options. So we go to options, options. Okay, so every other thing here will remain where they are except the wall completion. So I'll come here and I'll change the sun control type to gravel path, case tool. Now, Let's see, we have a gravel pack in case tool. If I change this to open all, do we still have gravel pack? Yes, of course. Okay, so let's take it back to case tool. Uh, so I'll do done. Okay, the next thing which we're gonna do is the PVT data. Today I don't feel like clicking the cells, so I'm just gonna use the min bar all through today. So the input data. The gas gravity is 0 0.75. The water salinity is 80,000. There are no impurities, so I'll go down. The next thing which I'm going to do is the equipment. So I'll go system equipment. Select all, deselect the surface equipment, and then edit. So this is a vertical well from zero feet to eight thousand feet notice the measured depth md is equal to the true vertical depth tvd uh, well, you can always plot see so it's going directly okay done we have just two components here the tubing and the casing so let me rename this from well, um, X Mastery. Let me call it Well Ed. Okay, allow this one to retain the name. Uh, our tubing is at 7,800, while our casing is at TVD, that's 8,000. The tubing inside diameter is 3.5. 992 while our casing inside diameter is 8.3 the 
the roughness for both of them is 0 0.0018 0 0.0018 for the chipping and same for casing it's all good done okay next thing we have is our GTML gradient data okay this is 70 degrees at the surface and at the TVD we have 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then the overall heat transfer coefficient is 8 we go done done you can always plot this okay so this is the label well it okay so I'm going main next thing which I'll do is to supply the inflow performance relations. Now, like I said, in this scenario, we have a caged hole that has been perforated and then packed with gravel. So I'm gonna use the hydraulically fractured well model here. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'll enter my skin by hand. Of course, the skin has been supplied. So let's continue with the others. So the reservoir pressure is at 4,000, temperature 200, water code is still at zero. The GR 400, we're not going to touch that. So I'll input these other parameters. Permeability is at 150. The reservoir thickness, that's a piezon thickness, is 100. The drainage area is 340 acres. The shift factor, as we all know, is 31.6. The well bore radius is at 0 0.354, at approximately 4, 4 inches, 4 point something inches. But this is supplied in feet. So let me add the zero for those who have not seen it. Okay, the time sinks production. I think I have this data. Where are you? Yes, of course I do. A time is just one day. The reservoir porosity is um, 0 0.25. The fracture height is 100 feet. That's the entire piezon. The fracture length, the fracture of length is 30, 30 feet. The dimensionless fracture conductivity is 5,000. Okay, I'm going to supply, next thing would be to supply the sun control. I mean, sorry, the skin. The skin is 2, mechanical skin plus 2. Okay, then we have the sun control data. And this is us. Sorry, our fracture face skin is zero. The growth pack permeability is 35,000 millidesi. The perforation diameter is just one inches. The shot density, we have six shot per feet. And we have the gravel pack length, which is two inches. The perforation interval is the entire basin. The perforation efficiency is um, not very efficient. So I'm going to change this. Uh, you can use fraction. I think we can also use percentage. I have 50%. Yeah, so in fraction, that should be 0 0.5. You can change it from fraction to percentage. Any of those, they're pretty much the same. So we said our beta factor will be calculated and then the gravel pack, the DP gravel pack calculation method. The method should be multi phase. Okay, so I'm going to change this from single phase to multi phase. So leave this, by the time you come back, you'll see some values they have. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is just calculate. Okay, so that's what we have. 
That's all we have, okay. So our absolute open flow potential is a whooping 51,269 stock down barrels per day. Our PI is pretty much high, 910. Okay, I have explained the effect of the PI and all that, so I'm not going to do that again in this tutorial. So I'm going main. Okay, let's look at this again. I said, when you come back, you'll have some values here. Do we have? Yes, of course we do. So that's that. Okay, so I'm going to go down again. Now, I think we've um, modeled everything. All we have to do is to produce to see what we'll actually, what we will actually be producing. So I'm going to go to calculation system, three variables. Top node pressure is 250 psi, so 250. Uh, we'll leave these. Okay, then we'll continue. I'm not sensitizing, so I'll calculate. We can plot, of course. Let's look at system plot. That's what you have. Very wonderful. Oh, uh, I think someone asked a question some time ago. I was asking if you actually wants to plot something against something. So you, to do that, all you have to do is to come to variables, and then you can choose the variables you actually want to plot. So what we're plotting here is IPR curve VLP against the liquid rate. You can always change this to maybe oil rate, then. There are other things you can plot too. You can plot the skin against the oil rate. You can plot the um, gravel pack skin, the total skin, and I think what we actually have here is skin. And then any plot, any of the plots you have, you can always do that. You can change the variables. For this tutorial, I don't want to do anything on sensitivity. My aim was just to see how um, to show how to do the um, fracture and packed well, how to model that in prosper and i think i've achieved my aim now look at this you can always get more information by clicking on solution details so you get a better view of what is happening so i think what you have here is more detailed than what you add in the other screen okay so that's that so i'm going in and that's all thank you very much for watching this tutorial Please do not forget to subscribe if you've not. These tutorials, I've been presenting them and giving them out free without charging. Uh, like we say, labor deserves its wages. So you could help me get something by maybe just watching the ads that will be displayed before the video. That will help me to get something at least for the effort. I think I deserve at least a bottle of uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Uh, anticipating your cooperation. Thank you very much. Like I said, if you have tutorials, I'm sorry, if you have questions, do well to ask in the comment section. If you have um, suggestions, recommendations, or whatever, move into the comment section and make your suggestions or recommendations or respond uh, appropriately. Thank you very much. See you some other time.